Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, Chris Ariola, the American heavyweight, is one of boxing's more intriguing figures, right? You'd be hard-pressed to find a heavyweight who throws more volume than Chris Ariola, right? When Chris Ariola is ready, he can overwhelm an opponent. Just look at his first-round KO of Seth Mitchell, who we haven't heard from of late, right? Ariola is... High action. But he has the same problem style-wise Manny Pacquiao has. No matter how fast his hands are, no matter how fast his feet are, you know sooner or later Chris Ariola is going to be right in front of you. He's going to come find you. Right? So slow-moving opponents. Think Bermain Stavern, a guy with very limited foot speed, knew that sooner or later Chris Ariola was going to be right in front of him. Right? You don't have to go looking for a Chris Ariola. He's front foot high volume. Right? He's going to come find you. So savvy fighters can lay traps. Right? Whether it's Juan Manuel Marquez against Manny Pacquiao or Remain Stavern against Chris Ariola. So I'm always interested in Chris Ariola fights because I realize that a guy who can work off of his back foot and who can counter has a chance against Ariola. I also know that Ariola's defense is such that he gets hit and hurt in fights. Look at the Travis Walker fight, right? These are even fights he's won. You can hit him. So, of course, I decided to research his next fight which will be on live television. Thank you, PBC. Right? Against a fighter I had not heard of named Curtis Harper. Right? Now, I wasn't expecting to have to be Lieutenant Colombo or Ellery Queen. Right? I wasn't expecting to have to play detective to find out about Curtis Harper. So, on... YouTube, I just punched in Curtis Harper, and I was pleased to see that he had a YouTube account, right? So I decided to watch the video he posted on his YouTube account. Folks, I'm not kidding. I believe this is the Curtis Harper. The video isn't a boxing video. It's him doing yoga. You think I'm making this up? I'm not, right? So at this point, I thought, wow, this Curtis Harper guy you know, might deserve a red flag, right? Where'd they find this guy? So then I decided to research Curtis Harper's record. I thought, okay, well, I must have missed some fights. Who are the big-time heavyweights this guy has fought, right? What is it that this guy has done that has gotten him on network television against Chris Ariola? Right, who recently was fighting remains to Vern. So, of course, you can imagine my utter amazement when I found out that of Curtis Harper's last five opponents, only one of them had a winning record. Right? Let me just read the records of Curtis Harper's last five opponents. Right? 15 wins. 19 losses. 9 wins, 10 losses. 15 wins, no losses. 5 wins, 12 losses. 5 wins, 13 losses, 3 draws. Let's just say, folks, I'm throwing a red flag on this fight, right? Curtis Harper is fighting guys who only have five wins, who have double-digit losses, 
and he's done so twice in his last five fights. Let me make another point, right? And I understand Chris Ariola wants to look good on TV and wants to come back. And I understand Chris Ariola has had some setbacks and needs to be, let's just say, judicious in his choice of opponent. But did you know that Curtis Harper has never made it into the seventh round of a fight? Even his fight against the 15-0 guy was only a six-round fight. Think about it, right? So this guy right now is a six-round fighter who's fighting guys with records like 5-12 and 12 and 5-13 and 3. Now understand, boxing isn't like a sports league where, you know, you understand that if you're watching NFL football, Right, You can look at the records of the teams and understand that those records were the result of games against other NFL teams. In other words, I see a 12-4 and record in the NFL and I can say, okay, well, that's a pretty good team. I don't have to worry about the quality of their opponents because I know their opponents are other NFL teams. Right? It's all world-class professional football. Now, what fans need to realize is it's not that way in boxing. In boxing, a guy can have a great record. Right? Then you look at his opponents, and then you find out that, you know, he's literally fighting mailmen. Milkmen. <laughs> You know, in the case of Mickey Roark, a guy who was homeless. You know, they're fighting guys with day jobs. Sometimes the opponent has no job, right? You know, let's just say the quality of opposition varies. No one is going to confuse the quality of opposition that Curtis Harper has fought with, let's say, the quality of opposition that Floyd Mayweather has fought or Vladimir Klitschko has fought, right? Understand in boxing, a win is not a win because you have to look at who the win's over, right? You know, if, if someone beats a Robert Guerrero, that's an accomplishment. Let's just say I was looking at the names on Curtis Harper's resume and I was scratching my head. I didn't know who most of these guys were. Right? Let's just say I'd be surprised if any of these guys were ranked fighters. Now, the one saving grace here, and it's a great development for boxing, is that this fight is on free TV. Let me just say this. This fight better be free. Right? <laughs> you know, because, you know, people paying to watch this fight really need to have their heads examined. Right? So I'm throwing a red flag on Chris Ariola versus Curtis Harper. I'll just say Curtis Harper, you know, one wonders how good he is. I'll concede his record looks good, but yet his resume doesn't, right? Wins over 5 and 12 guys and 5 and 13 guys, right? Really shouldn't be equated with wins over top contenders. Right, so view this fight as an epic mismatch. If you're going to bet it, really, the only value play I see is the idea that the fight doesn't go the distance. Why? Because even though the fight is a 10-round fight, understand Curtis Harper's never made it to the 7th round, and Chris Ariola is high action. Right, he's going to welcome you to the heavyweight party with both hands on his front foot, right? So really the only value I see here, because I'm sure Chris Ariola is a prohibitive favorite that'll probably pay you pennies on the dollar, right? The only play I could tell here, and keep in mind, I can't even come up with this play based on looking at Curtis Harper films, right? Because the only video I have to work with is, you know, other than Curtis Harper giving interviews, is Curtis Harper doing yoga, right? YouTube Nation, 
if you have a link to actual Curtis Harper fights, I hope you leave those links in the comment section to this video. Right? This guy's a mystery. Right? If Detective Colombo were still alive, we would need to call him to find out more about this fighter and how this fighter is getting this opportunity. Think of all of the heavyweights you know, right? Chaz Witherspoon, for example. You have a whole group of heavyweights out there. Seth Mitchell, who I mentioned earlier, right? Who, let's just say, would have more credibility than this guy, right? Somehow this guy is getting the opportunity against Chris Ariola. So it goes in boxing. Red flag on this one. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Leave your links to Curtis Harper fights here online. Maybe we need to start an investigation to try to track down whether this guy has actually had fights. Right? Whether his opponents drive a milk truck, deliver the mail, right? Or, you know, I don't know. Whatever. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.